Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just an adorable couple in love for those reacting to Avatar The Last Airbender. Yes, we do. So this is Avatar The Last Airbender, season one, episode number 14. And if you want early ad free access to our reactions, then go ahead and check out the description of this video for Patreon. You can get a month ahead or more, depending on which tier you sign up for. Are you ready to do this? I am ready. Okay. Why are you smiling at me like that? Uh, oh, we're gonna go over how he is in love with Katara. Ooh, the fortune teller. Try to catch it? You're hungry? He is taunting us. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the fishing line? I didn't think you would need it, Sokka. <laughs> ah, it's all tangled. I made you a necklace, Katara. I Let's thought since you lost your other one. Mm -hmm. Aww. Thanks, Aang. I love it. Maybe instead of saving the world, you can go into the jewelry making business. <laughs> I don't see why I can't do both. Yeah, open your own Etsy store. You'll be great. So, how do I look? <laughs> Aww. Someone's in love. Oh! oh! Deserved. Aang's just a good friend. A sweet little guy. Oh. oh. Ouch, friend zoned. Like, hard. Yeah. Is that like a platypus mixed with a bear? I think so. Make noise or run off! No, play dead. He'll lose interest. I love all the advice. I've heard every single one of those for bears. Hmm. Whoa there! Oh, Abba! <laughs> but everything was already under control. Yeah. Aunt Wu predicted I'd have a safe journey. Aunt who? She's the fortune teller from my village. Awful nice knowing your future. Wow, it must be. That explains why you were so calm. You didn't have a safe journey. Yeah. You were almost killed. But I wasn't. Have a good one. <laughs> He's got you there. Oh, and Aunt Wu said if I met any travelers to give them this. Oh, maybe not. Maybe she's not a scam artist. Telling is nonsense. What do you know? Umbrella? <gasps> huh. Oh, wow. Of course she predicted it was gonna rain. The sky's been gray all day. Look, I'm gonna predict the future now. It's going to keep drizzling. See? Mm, stops. Yep. Not everyone has the gift, Sokka. Hmm. Is he gonna shake off? All right, yeah. <laughs> Sokka's just been getting it this episode. Fish, egg, appa. Animals yeah. have it out for him right now. Chicken ducks? I love the mix of the animals in this. Chicken duck? Duckins? Because that was more duck than chicken. Right? Oh, she's. Aww. Oh, well. Can I get you some tea or some of Aunt Wu's special bean curd puffs? I'll try a curd puff. Just a second. <laughs> so, what's your name? Ang. That rhymes with Mang. And you've got some pretty big ears, don't you? I guess. It's very nice to meet you. Very nice. I can't believe we're here in the house of nonsense. Wouldn't it be nice to have some insight into your future? Oh, Meng, Aunt Wu says I'm going to meet my true love. He's going to give me a rare panda lily. I wonder if my true love will give me a rare flower. Good luck with that. All right, true love, okay. Is that the big ear guy who Aunt Wu predicted you'd marry? Ooh. That's why. Enjoy your snack. <laughs> Welcome, young travelers. Now, who's next? Don't be shy. Guitar. I guess that's me. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad. What do you think they're talking about back there? Boring stuff, I'm sure. Love, who she's gonna marry, how many babies she's gonna have. Yeah, dumb stuff like that. <laughs> well, I gotta find a bat. Ha <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Momo. Here to go, Momo. Do you see anything interesting in my love line? I mm. feel great romance for you. The man you're going to marry, he's a very powerful bender. <laughs> oh no, I don't think yeah. it's you though, eh? No. Looks like someone had a pretty good bathroom break. I don't even want to know. <laughs> Who's next? Okay, let's get this over with. Your future is full of struggle and anguish. Most of it self-inflicted. <laughs> didn't read my palms or anything. Don't need to. I don't need to. It's written all over your face. Owned. This is the most reliable method of telling your fortune. Go on. Pick one. Now throw it on the fire. Wow, that's a big crack. Uh oh. I've never seen this before. <gasps> oh my. 
That's an intense. You will be involved in a great battle. A battle whose outcome will determine the fate of the whole world. You already knew that. Yeah, yeah, I knew that already. <laughs> but did it say anything about a girl? <laughs> a girl? <laughs> you want to know about love? <laughs> yes. Sorry, but I didn't see anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. I must have missed something. It says, trust your heart and you will be with the one you love. Really? Thank you, Aunt Wu. It's a fortune cookie. Well, now you got to see for yourself that... That woman is crazy. My life will be calm and happy and joyful. <laughs> Ow! Oh. That doesn't prove anything. Well, I liked my predictions. What did she tell you? <laughs> Some stuff. You'll find out. What's with the sky? We're waiting for Aunt Wu to come and read the cloud to predict the fate of the whole village. The cloud reading will tell us if Mount Makapu will remain dormant for another year or if it will erupt. I can't believe you would trust your lives to that crazy old woman's superstition. Shh, she's coming. Aang, don't you think that cloud looks like a flower? Huh? I think it's Tara. Don't you think an accumulus cloud with a twisted nub coming off the end of it. The village will not be destroyed by the volcano. That's a pretty Q important one. Q erupting volcano. There's something I want to tell you. I like you, but more than normal. Never mind. Aww. Aww. My mom was rooting for you. You can't understand, but you understand when you're hurting. I'm going to prove Aunt Wu's predictions are nonsense. Hey, you. I bet Aunt Wu told you to wear those red shoes, didn't she? She said I'd be wearing red shoes when I met my true love. And how many times have you worn those shoes since you got that fortune? Every day. Then of course it's gonna come true! You think so? I'm so excited! Sokka owned count? Not like five. So Sokka, you know some stuff about ladies, right? So no. Stuff. You've come to the right place. Zero stuff. Oh no. There's this girl. I think I know who you mean. And you're okay with it? Of course I am. And to tell you the truth, I've been picking up a subtle vibe that she likes you too. She does? Oh, yeah. No. She's crazy about you. The number one mistake nice guys like you make? Being too nice. You can be too nice. Nice to be a jerk to... Ugh. Hey, Ang. I was wondering. See you later. Wow. That kid is good. <laughs> it's natural. Should I eat a mango or a papaya for breakfast tomorrow? Papaya. <laughs> oh, I hate papaya. <laughs> hey, Tara. I didn't see you there. That's okay. I'm busy with my own stuff. <laughs> you blew it. Papaya. Uh-huh. Would you like some? I don't really care what I eat. Okay, then. See you later. <laughs> Maybe a loof isn't my style. No, it's not. <laughs> A panda lily. Where can a guy find one of those things? I can't believe you're dragging me all the way up. And they're gonna see that the volcano is about to. Panda lily. I've right. seen it in action, and boy, does it work. <laughs> it's critical that you maintain maximum aloofness. But my heart is telling me to get this flower, and Aunt Wu said if I trusted my heart, I would be with the one I love. Don't tell me you believe in that stuff too. Aunt Wu hasn't been wrong yet. Oh no. So. When that guy picked the flower, didn't he see this? Those people all think they're safe. We've got to warn them. Grab on! Ah! Oh, come on! That's gotta be fun! It looks awesome. Mm hmm Can you believe she won't let me in? And after all the business I've given her? But she doesn't even charge. Yeah, let's say you haven't paid her anything. Aunt Wu was wrong about the volcano. It's gonna take an awful lot to change my mind. Yep. Cute How about that? volcano. Everyone! That volcano is gonna blow any second! Aunt Wu was wrong! We know you don't believe in Aunt Wu, Mr. Science and Reason Lover. <laughs> but my brother and Aang saw the lava with their own eyes. I heard Aunt Wu's prediction with my own ears. <laughs> Please, Look, can your fortune telling explain that? Can your science explain why it rains? <laughs> yes, it can! Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. They just won't listen to reason. No. Nope. But they will listen to Aunt Wu. We're taking fate in our own hands. First, they need to borrow Aunt Wu's cloud reading. Need to borrow or steal? We don't want anyone to hear us. Oh! Oh! I didn't see you there. You don't like me, do you? Aww. It's really hard when you like someone, but they don't think of you that way. 
Oh, he knows. She's beautiful, by the way. I can see why you like her so much. Her hair seems so manageable. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna meet a great guy who's gonna completely fall for you. I know it. Wait, don't you want this? How did you know? I've kind of been stalking you. <laughs> that smile is great. Clouds are made of water and air. So between the two of us, we ought to be able to bend them into any shape we want. The symbol for volcanic doom. Look, something's happening in the clouds. Oh my. Oh, death. Yeah, that's a bad omen, all right. We can still save the village if we act fast. Sokka has a plan. Of course he does. If any of you are earthbenders, come with me. I'm an earthbender. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you mean I was working. Good job, Momo. Yep. It's gonna overflow. Huh? Yeah, it definitely is. Aang, what are you doing? Avatar shit. Definitely impressive. Sometimes I forget what a powerful bender that kid is. Mm -hmm. Wait, what did you just say? Nothing, just that Aang is one powerful bender. Is she gonna see him finally? I suppose he is. By the way, we kind of borrowed your book. So you messed with the clouds, did you? Very clever. No offense, but I hope this has taught everyone a lesson about not relying too much on fortune telling. But Aunt Wu predicted the village wouldn't be destroyed. And it wasn't. She was right, after all. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I ask you something? Of course, honey. You didn't really see love in my fortune, did you? You just told me what I wanted to hear. I'll tell you a little secret, young airbender. Just as you reshape those clouds, you have the power to shape your own destiny. Yep. Goodbye, everyone. Take care, Meng. Take care. With your manageable hair. Oh, Floozy. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, perfect ending. Yeah. Floozy. That was great. It's sweet seeing Aang have a crush on Katara and, and whatnot, and like in uh, man and Sokka with his with his wisdom. But I kind like I I kind of hope they I, I don't want that romance. Like I like them being friends. Yeah, friends and like. Family. Yeah, exactly. Like romantic family. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we'll see how it uh, how it shapes up. It was fun, this sort of debate in this about, you know, like trusting the fortune teller versus mm -hmm. not and Sokka being so passionate about it. And, you know, I don't know, like it feels like with these things, it's always, you know, like reading your horoscope, right? Like it's vague enough that you can read into it what you want to see into exactly. it. Although I will say... To her credit, she was getting very specific. Like, then after your third grandchild, you will die. <laughs> I mean, so, you know, she she probably has some skills. I also think that she was just at one point just telling Sokka, like, I mean, not telling uh, Katara. Anything to make her go away. Yeah, exactly. Uh, get Trying to get her out of there. Um, don't leave your future completely at the hands of fate and just thinking that, like, oh, you know, it's, uh, it, everything's going to be fine because you know, God has a plan for me or, um, you know, whatever your whatever your faith uh, may be. Yeah, like you, I, I like that at the end, like you have the power to shape your your own destiny, your own future. Um, it's, a good, it's a good lesson there. Yeah, I remember I used to... More so like in, I think my younger years, like high school and maybe a little into college, I believed in like fate and like, oh, you had like, a, everybody had like a sort of destiny that they mm -hmm. were on the path of and whatnot. And then I got older and I was like, no, I really don't like that idea anymore. Like, <laughs> I like to be the one who's in in control of the choices I make and, and the path I'm on. And like, if I don't like it, I have the freedom to pivot versus like some mastermind behind the curtain shaping everything like. The Great Wizard of Oz or something. I guess uh, when it comes to like fate, certain certain things, I'm just like, okay, I think fate is basically opportunity. 
Um, and so and it's up to you what you do with that opportunity. Like, you know, you could say like fate brought us together, but it was up to, you know, our own decisions on how we acted on that. You know, like if we could have just not not gotten together, you know, there was definitely like uh, there were definitely other paths where we could have taken that would probably would have been, you know, easier and just like, OK, well, I'm not going to not going to go after her or whatever, because you can make up whatever whatever reason you want to say, like, you know, um, or she could say, you know, he looks like a douche. And so I'm definitely not going to go out with him. <laughs> but you know what? We both went against her. Uh, you know, she went against her better judgment and I overcame my fear. And that's how we ended up together. This is true. That is that is <laughs> how it played out. I also think, too, because something I'm kind of seeing as a common through line is like the idea of hope, right? Like the fortune teller was hope for the village. That mm -hmm. guy went on a journey and didn't get scared because the fortune teller told him that he would be fine. Yeah. All of these villagers were very excited about like the good omens that she was sharing with them about like love and good crops and mm -hmm. safety and everything. She was providing a source of hope for them because the world can be scary. It, it is very out of our control. I mean, a meteor could strike us all dead tomorrow. Like there are things that we have no control over. Um, so when you have a fortune teller who's like, no, you're gonna die peacefully in your sleep at a ripe old age. Yeah. Like, it gives you hope. Like you can feel somewhat comforted and secure in, in moving forward. And it goes back to that one story that we, uh, Bartlett says in West Wing, when, you know, this guy's like uh, out at sea and um, a lifeboat comes out and says, hey, you know, come, come get on the lifeboat. And he's like, oh, no, it's all right. God will save me. And, you know, I pray to God and he'll save me. And then, like, you know, more and more boats like start to come and try to save him. And he says, no, God will save me. And then he dies and he goes up to heaven. And he's like, God, you know, like, I prayed for you. I prayed to you. Like, why didn't you save me? He's like, didn't you get like the lifeboat and the yacht and like the motorboat I, I yeah. sent you? So, yeah, it's like one of those things. Like, you know, you just got to take advantage of the opportunities uh, when, they, when they come your way and stop saying that, you know. Just, just relying on fate. Yeah. And it's, you know, to something that we watched recently with like playing with the future and, mm. and like manipulating time travel and whatnot. Oh, yeah. It's like, you don't know what, what destiny, the like yeah. opportunity or what the perceived help might be. Like the guy who was drowning mm -hmm. ignored all of the many helps that were being sent to him. Mm -hmm. Whereas like, it's just because it didn't arrive the way he expected it to. Yeah. Like he wanted like the hand of God to come yeah. down and pull out of the water. It's like, <laughs> exactly. oh, funny how that didn't happen. So if you want to go ahead and on to our next episode right away, then you can do that on Patreon. We have early ad-free access there. Uh, you can get a month ahead or more, depending on which tier you sign up for. And thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Avatar The Last Airbender. But just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive. <laughs>